All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's Name the Power. So as each week passes, it seems like there's more and more reasons to be excited for the 2018 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Now, obviously, we have a pretty stacked lineup with the possibility of Kai Green competing, the possibility of Big Rami competing, Dennis Wolf making his comeback at that show. And, of course, you're going to have Cedric McMillan, who is the returning defending champion, trying to defend that title um, and come back off of this uh, 10th place Olympia finish. But in addition to that, this will also be the first year ever they're going to be offering an Arnold Classic Classic Physique title. So I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think the 2018 Arnold Classic might be more exciting um, and definitely has the potential to be more exciting than the 2017 Mr. Olympia was, um, especially with all these competitors that are going to be competing in men's open. Um, but I'm very excited to see who comes out to compete in the very first ever inaugural 2018 Arnold Classic Classic Physique competition. So that'll be very interesting to watch. And I think the interesting thing about adding a Classic Physique division to the Arnold Classic will be the fact that unlike the Men's Open guys, the Classic Physique guys don't fluctuate as much in body weight in the offseason. So these aren't guys that are trying to gain a bunch of mass um, and they bulk up real heavy in the offseason. They have to do a very long prep for the Olympia. Um, so a lot of the top Olympia guys in Men's Open will end up skipping the Arnold Classic because they need that time to prep all the way through the year for the next Olympia. I don't think that's something we're going to see with these Classic Physique guys because these guys typically stay stay lean and stay about the same size all year round because they have, they have weight caps um, and weight limits that they have to be under. So they can't really be bulking up too heavy um, because they have to make that weight category. So what I think this means is every year at the Arnold Classic, we're going to see most of, if not all of, the Classic Physique lineup from the past year's Olympia showing up to compete at the Arnold Classic that year. So that's what I think is going to be interesting is unlike the Arnold and Men's Open, where typically you're not going to see a whole lot of top Olympia guys competing in the Arnold Men's Open. You might see a couple guys from the top 10 in there, um, but usually the top five guys at the Olympia are probably not going to do the Arnold Classic because they want to prep for the next year's Olympia and get better, uh, maybe put on some size, maybe make some improvements. For the most part, I don't think the Classic Physique guys are going to have to do that to that extent or need as much time to prep for the Olympia. So I think we're going to see a lot more um, of higher level competition in Classic Physique at the Arnold Classic um, and much closer competition than we see in Men's Open at the Arnold Classic. So again, I'm very, very excited to go um, and attend the 2018 Arnold Classic. I'm going to be there covering it, hopefully meeting a lot of you guys. And like I said, man, I think this is going to be one of the most exciting bodybuilding events of 2018 or 2017, especially with that stacked lineup in men's open. I mean, you can't beat that. Kai Green, Big Rami, Cedric McMillan, um, the Dennis Wolf comeback. It's a very, very exciting year for the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about what this means for Classic Physique. I think it's a huge step um, in the right direction for them to add a classic physique to the men's uh arnold classic division so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it nick strength and power signing out